Welcome to our SQL Insights video. Today we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with queries. Our viewer is curious about how to use an alias value in the WHERE clause of the same query. Specifically, they want to filter results based on a distance condition that they are calculating within the query itself. Let's break it down and explore how to achieve this effectively. All right, guys, welcome back to another tech video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, don't forget to say just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you'll get to that resolution. Anyway, on to the video, cheers. Let's start by understanding the requirement. We want to filter results based on a distance condition using a value that we are fetching in the same query. In our SQL query, we are calculating the distance using a formula. We need to ensure that we can reference the calculated distance in our having clause. To achieve this, we can use an alias for the calculated distance. In our query, we have already defined an alias called distance. Now we can modify the having clause to compare the calculated distance with the distance filter. We will replace distance filter with the actual alias. Finally, let's look at the complete SQL query with the updated having clause. This will ensure we get the desired results based on our distance condition. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To use an alias value in the WHERE clause, simply place the HAVING clause inside single quotes. This method has been tested and works correctly. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To use an alias value in a WHERE clause, you need to include the entire calculation directly in the clause. Alternatively, you can use the HAVING clause to filter based on the calculated distance. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your questions, and hopefully found that solution that you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.